Hey my friends, welcome back to Kyle's Film Garage. It is a beautiful day here in Hollywood. And uh, I'm gonna take a little walk. We're gonna go through a little neighborhood here in Hollywood. I got a little errand to run this morning, so I figured, you know what? What a fine time to make a video. So uh, I hope you're doing great. Let's get right to it. By the way, fun fact, today in Hollywood history, <clears throat> today's Elizabeth Montgomery's birthday, born on April 15th, 1933, Samantha Stevens on Bewitched. So, happy birthday. We know you can hear this. We know you're out there. So, today in Hollywood. So where are we, Kyle? Well, we're on a little street called Citrus in Hollywood. Behind me over here is Lexington and ahead of me is fountain so that's gonna put us at 1217 citrus cute little bungalows of course like right across the street from cute little bungalows is going to be a ginormous apartment building so, and that's how it is that is how it is here in these neighborhoods right in Hollywood as parking that's funny hey by the way my trailer for happy the rodeo clown the first one is live so just did that video that dropped this morning and uh, so yeah we're gonna try to do one every day ish I don't want to promise every day because it might not happen every day but we're gonna try so so yeah go check it out the fundraiser is gonna launch next week for it it's a short film that we're doing so these little videos these little kind of teaser trailers just to give you an idea of what we're gonna be doing and uh, the, the character who who is happy and uh, and all that so so yeah so definitely check it out drop that video just dropped today and uh, you know I will actually leave that It'll be in the, the the card at the end of this video too. So that's how I'll, that's how I'll do this. So when I do videos like this, I'll leave those in the cards at the end so you can go right to it. So yeah, all right, let's keep going. So where are we, Kyle? All right, so this is that is Highland over there. So that's a busier street. But uh, since we started on Citrus, let's keep going on Citrus. So yeah, crossing Fountain right now. See, when you don't have a driveway, make a driveway. That's what I would do. Just figured sometimes you just like to get the scenery. I mean, I don't have to talk 24 hours of the day of a video. So I know that in YouTube they say, you know, cut out like the time between the sentences so that like you it basically all the youtubers it feels like a big run-on sentence because they're always talking and they cut right to the next sentence and you never get a break so yeah I don't do that here so yeah so sometimes you're just gonna enjoy the walk so where are we Kyle we are at Higman Avenue and Citrus this is the 1300 block, 1300 North Citrus. So yeah, it's, it's, you got your mix of apartments and stuff like that, like 1332 and then across the street, that's gonna be a house. So what, they'll, what they've done over time and back through time and the COVID days and whatnot, when everything was shut down and things were maybe a little more dangerous um, they uh, started to just like 
put fences like this and all the way around houses so like you, you wouldn't even know there was a house back there and it's like I mean look at that you know 1335 cool I mean I'm sure it's a nice house and these big old hedges there's a house behind this big old hedge too so this fence has been here a while this okay see birds of paradise this is a this is a bird of paradise see it looks like a big banana tree but no it's it's a bird of paradise so they start out they start out like that like that little cute guy right there oh I got a bird of paradise in in my front yard and then a couple of years later it's like it's like holy shit I didn't realize that I was gonna have a dinosaur in my front yard but that's what happens with birds of paradise so now you know if you didn't know oh look at that cute little bird of paradise yeah they end up like that they end up like you know a tree so yeah yeah know that before you plant one all right so I guess citrus doesn't go through so we're gonna keep walking up Mansfield then I'm not even I'm not even really sure what street this is that we're walking on. Let's see if I can get a sign here. Do I have a sign? No. There's no signs. Oh yeah there is. Okay, yeah, this is DeLong Prey. Okay. DeLong Prey and Mansfield. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go up Mansfield. Yeah, see? Alright. So you got your regular apartment, you know, with like the, you know, the iron, the iron fencing. And then it's like, yeah, the houses, they just build these like, you know, solid fence, like little, your own private little palace, you know, I don't know. I mean, I get it. I, I get the safety thing and wanting to be like that, but it's a... Uh, I don't know. What would you do? Would you, if you had a house in a neighborhood like this one, surrounded by apartments and stuff like that, it they might have been a little more, a little more dangerous at one point, but it's not like that now. Would you build like a, a solid wooden fence or do hedges, or would you do, you know, like here, look, all across across the street is basically all these, all these like metal just like the steel fences you know so they're all they're all up they're all like this at least here I don't know what would you do you can rent it's for rent right now one bedroom I am I'm not with them I don't know them but you know if you're looking for a place there's a sign that says for rent and that phone number, it's uh, it's all right there if you're looking to, you know, get a one bedroom here in Hollywood. So, yeah. But then you have this awesomeness. I love that place. That's cool. And I don't know if you can see it, but you got like the lion heads up there. Oh, cool raven. Um, yep, there it is. So, yeah, I love that place. It's got like the the, the western railings cool fountains yeah anyway so this place i still don't know what it is but last time that we were talking about this place we found out that they had like a bunch of car jacks in it so but uh, i'm gonna ask this guy okay i just found out what this place is gonna be it's gonna be are you ready drum roll I don't know. Did I find the drum roll to put there or did I just say drum roll without putting a drum roll? Hold on, do it again. Drum roll. Okay, I'm either gonna look silly or that was a drum roll. Okay, but uh, check it out. So this, turning around. As we discovered, these rotary lifts are all over this building. So, now I know what this is. 
this place is gonna be a Toyota dealership. Mm hmm A Toyota dealership right in the middle of Hollywood. Right across the street from the high school, Hollywood High, there's your In-N-Out Burger, IHOP, and this is gonna be a Toyota dealership. Crazy. I don't know, maybe they're trying to make it like a Glendale thing, like, you know, like, hey, let's just put car dealerships in the middle of busy places, so. Cool, you do you, all right. Hey, you're still here. That's awesome. So as long as you are, because this is a YouTube channel, do the things, please, that YouTube likes, you know, the clicking and liking and, you know, subscribing and joining the channel would help actually independent film help possibly get happy made. So, uh, yeah, everything helps. Indie baby all the way. So, yeah, so that's Hollywood High right there. That's in and out I'm sure they do just fine. Because I remember back in the day when I was in high school sneaking off campus to go get food during lunch or between classes did I did I just tell on myself I think I did so yeah but I may or may not have done that so you can't prove it and uh, yeah but fast food restaurants do really well by high schools I know this because I've heard about it from other people that told me you know what they would do when they were in school anyway and uh, this is the the Hollywood High football field this is the track you ever run track it's pretty cool this is like uh, the viewpoint as if you are about to start running down that track right there are you running the hundred are you like a distance person do you hate it I do wish I would not ask you if you ran track at all because it brings up bad memories. Anyway, yeah, some for everyone, right? I hated track during, in school, I hated it. Um, but I actually really enjoy running now, like jogging and distance. And my wife and I have done like, I think 13 half marathons before, you know, we got like the COVID long haul situation. But before then, we were running half marathons all the time. So our goal is to run another one in uh, July. So hopefully we can gear up for that and run a half marathon. So yeah, wish us luck. Cause that, that requires like getting back in shape running wise. So yeah, all right, cool. That was a crow because you can tell the difference between a crow and a raven because crows have like a higher pitch caw and ravens have more of like a croaky sound and they're a little bigger than than crows so yeah look at them that's cool what's up mr crow oh yep there's another one so yeah and crows also like hang out together a lot so you'll see You'll see, like, if you see, like, a bunch of blackbirds in a tree, it's not going to be ravens. It's going to be a crow. Because that's how they hang out. Ravens will, like, be maybe one or two. You know, they hang out in pairs sometimes. But that's it. So, cool. Hey, you know what? Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me on this video. A little walk, a little talk. Do the things. And I will see you on the next one.